hey guys welcome back to the video i hope you guys are having a great day if you have been paying attention to the crypto market yesterday we received a little bit of a consolidation phase and today there was a little bit more profit taking as the market decided to plummet even stronger i mean if we talk about dogecoin specifically it has lost to this 11 cent support fallen below it at the same time you can see most of the meme coins are in a quite a big red but if we talk about bitcoin it is actually holding quite well above 60k not falling below it while dogecoin trading volume is sitting close to 700 million there are some positive things first of all on twitter a lot of people are talking about how if the bull scenario plays out bitcoin is going to hit 200k if a bear scenario plays out bitcoin's still going to get 150k dogecoin just got a core update that's going to help people be more safe at the same time dogecoin eyes a historic bullish breakout even though the price is on a decline and morgan stanley bets on the bitcoin etf now before we get into all of this if you guys are here for the first time you want to stay up to date with everything to do with the crypto market and especially dogecoin scroll down tap the red subscribe button right there slap a like on the video just have to eat tobacco then push the video to more people more people are up to date with what is happening it's really free for you but it will be very very beneficial for me so so go down and slap a like on it and this will also help people be more informed and maybe put some money into crypto and everyone make a lot of profit now first of all i just want to give you guys perspective by showing you brand this is actually one of the smallest meme coins which are in the top 100 the market cap is sitting close to 800 million but you can see that today it actually took a really strong pullback which is actually sitting at an 18 percent decline and the same thing with pepe what i'm trying to tell you is whenever you invest in a crypto crypto market as i always say try to only put in the money that you are willing to lose you need to be safe and make sure that you do not put your life savings into it and that's exactly what we are facing right now now bitcoin has fallen short to 61k if you look at the overall trending view you will understand that right now we are in a critical stage what i mean by critical stage this is a daily chart and you guys can see that this has been tested quite a few times if we're able to recover from here well that's going to be a good thing because you can see that there has been quite a few instances where this zone has been very beneficial for the bitcoin market now this is only talking about this bull market which started at the end of february not talking about previous times but if we're not able to you know use this as a support the next support is actually going to be sitting close to 57k which means bitcoin will actually take another five percent decline and you guys know when bitcoin takes a five percent decline all the other old coins are going to be much larger and i know for a fact people do not want to see bitcoin actually fall down to those zone because that might actually incur that we are going maybe into a downtrend which a lot of people do not want to see now keep in mind i'm not saying that we are completely out of the bull market we're definitely in the bull market we're still quite high compared to where we started in the february month but there is a little bit of panic if you look at this this should give you perspective bitcoin is sitting at 1.2 trillion when it comes to the market cap and it's about to get very close to silver if it's able to get all the way to gold there is still another 16x left which means bitcoin's market cap could be sitting close to 1 million dollars but keep in mind that's still a little bit of far away it's going to take a little bit of time and gold is still quite ahead i do want to mention another important thing which uh, a lot of you guys might not know but morgan stanley which is one of the biggest or you know one of the largest trading firms around the world has just opened access to the spot bitcoin etf trading for their wealthy clients why is this a good thing because this is going to allow for a lot of inflow of cash into the crypto market and that is exactly what we need right now to stop the market from bleeding and be able to recover this move signals a growing institutional interest in bitcoin and crypto investment despite the recent outflow bitcoin etf remain a focal point for investors as i mentioned the outflow might be a little great but you need to understand that the money when it starts inflowing will also start pushing up the market very quickly now if this plays out properly dogecoin's gonna hit a dollar if it goes to the bull market then it might be able to hit two dollars what do you guys think about this let me know down in the comment section i'm not going to give you my perspective because i do actually believe in this that's the thing now dogecoin's core update now this is going to be helping a lot of people the dogecoin core 1.14.8 release has passed its can multiple 
developers reliable reproduce the exact output from the compilation process test. That means a release is immediate. And why is this responsibility important? Well, the importance of this is just to keep the, you know, the core of Dogecoin safe and make sure that it's not just a meme coin, rather a meme chain. And that's exactly what everyone's been talking about on Twitter, trying to protect and, you know, help Dogecoin become much bigger. Dogecoin faced a significant price turbulence last week. But even then, we pretty much broke below 11 cents. There is still a very good chance that we might be able to see a rebound and actually push over the 13 cent mark. Now, open interest has fallen even more. Sitting close to 440 million, the Dogecoin price action is again sitting at a really critical support, which was the support used previously for the Dogecoin market to take a little bit of a recovery, and it has fallen short to that same place again. But keep in mind, we were not able to break above the downtrend, which I'm very certain a lot of you guys want to see very shortly. We could be about to see Bitcoin rebound. The TD substantial presents a multiple buy signals on the Bitcoin 4-hour chart an aggressive 13 and substantial 13 and red nine candles. So there could be a reversal that can happen overnight, but you need to also wait for the market to open tomorrow to see what kind of improvement stock market will be showing. And if there is a lot of panic, maybe the same thing might actually flow into the crypto market. Now, France, MICA licensing for crypto asset providers. So you can see that there is going to be a lot more um, you know, things happening with the crypto market as more regulations will be put on it. 280 or 237 million net outflow hits Bitcoin spot ETF. And this is what I'm talking about. There is a little bit of chance these outflows are going to cause a lot of people to panic and let's just say take a loss and you do not want to be one of them because I personally think the only time you lose money is when you decide to take your money out. I would like to remind whoever put a full Bitcoin in Dogecoin at the green arrow just back red 30 arrow 70 Bitcoin three months later. I mean, that should give you perspective. That was a very short period of time. And in that time, you know, that was a big return that you could have received. Now, another thing is Ripple. Ripple launches their USD or stablecoin page to prepare for the stablecoin debut that might be happening a lot sooner than we imagine. And at the same time, the whole crypto market is very excited because meme chain is going to be a big thing. And finally, Bitcoin mining difficulty hits its historic high as following 10.5% increase. So this means there is more money that's going to be flowing in. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like on if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.